Good morning guys, it's Saturday, May 9th, and I decided to vlog today. It's actually a little bit late, it's almost two o'clock, and this is actually my first meal. I know it sounds like really bad, but I actually woke up at nine o'clock and then I fell back asleep, and then I woke up at 12 p.m. I don't know what happened, but yeah. That was a very late start and I usually just make my coffee, I go on the couch and I watch some YouTube videos and I play a little bit of Animal Crossing and then when I'm ready to eat, then I eat. So I just made myself a regular breakfast. I just have two eggs with two pieces of bacon and I wanted to share like what I'm eating because I was so excited when I went to the grocery store last week and I found this and it is Kewpie. If you don't know what this is, this is Japanese mayo. And I bought it once before and I haven't had it in so long. And I got so lucky and so like excited when I saw this because I didn't know where I could get it. And I found it at a grocery store that I actually go to regularly. So yeah, this I can just have with eggs like normally. So I just like put some on. This um, recipe is very interesting. I really don't know what it is about it that makes it so special. I think it's like a bit fishy, so that's why I like it, I don't know. But this is the stuff I'm pretty sure they mix with sriracha to make a spicy mayo. I actually washed my hair yesterday, so it's looking like still pretty good, but there's only one product in it. I actually want to film a makeup video maybe, I'm not really sure, I just have this idea in my head that I want to film, but I also kind of want to share my Animal Crossing island with you guys so i might do that um we shall see where the day takes us but you'll know by the end of the video because it'll be in the title so i'm going to eat and then get changed a little bit because i'm still in my robe and my naruto t-shirt <laughs> and then I'll hey guys so now i'm going to show you my island i figured i would do this because i really wanted to and i know i'm not a gamer but i just wanted to share it with you guys in case you guys play this game so i'm just going to pull up my map really quick this is actually my second time filming this and the first time it didn't look that great. So I wanted to make it look good. So here I have me and Michael. Michael doesn't really play. And these are all my villagers. I have Non, June, Alice, Candy, Lyman, Zell, Whitney, Marina, and Ken. Ken has been here for a while. I actually just got Alice. And before that, Lyman. Everyone's been here for a while, so yeah. I have different sections. Um, my resident services is very close to um, the airport, which I don't really like. I get kind of jealous seeing people with their resident services all far, but it is kind of nice that it's out of the way and I can make the entrance look symmetrical. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing. It's very springy. I got this shirt yesterday. So here is the entrance. It's kind of symmetrical. It's been redone a few times. And I have white wind flowers. Um, I like white wind flowers. They're pretty. I'm not sure though if I want to keep it this way. I used to have a big raised up section here, but I moved it. And oh my god, look at them. They're just having a good old time with this concert. <laughs> Let's start over to the left. So I have this nice path. I finally gave in and got these street lamps. I only have like three but they are quite nice. Let's go to the beach. So this was one of the first areas I did and I redid it. It was a spa because when I got Whitney, her house really inspired me. It is blue and white and it's just so cute and pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I have to get it. Red and green balloons are my favorite. So hopefully I get something good. So here I have beach towels. I just got these this week. And then I have Stonehenge over here. I kind of don't like that this little peninsula is in the front. I wish it was in the back. Again, I see people's islands that have a different layout and I'm like, man, I wish I paid more attention when I picked mine, but it's fine. So yeah, this used to be Whitney's backyard, but I changed it, which is why it looks a little disheveled. Um, this I made yesterday. It's where I am going to be cloning and breeding flowers. I'm trying to get my blue roses, people. Um, I have this red rose that popped up. I don't know what that means. So yeah, this I just made yesterday. I got some blue ones yesterday. Blue hyacinths. Very excited. 
Um, over here is Nan's house. Now this is to the left of resident services. You can see over here, resident services. Let's actually go behind resident services. Excuse me, guys. I really wanted this kind of flag for so long and I was too lazy to make it myself, but I finally did. Oh, the bottom is kind of messed up with the stars. I have to fix that. Also the middle, so. That is my flag, I love it. It was the leaf for so long, but now it's not. Um, up here, I made this little landing. I want it to be like a stargazing area. I don't know why I threw the pool up here, but that'll change eventually. So let's move on to the left. Oh my gosh, I hate when KK Sliders here, honestly. It's just, it's, he's in the way. So to the left is Nan's house. And over here is Michael's house. He doesn't really play the game because I'm always playing it. And I don't think he's that into it. So I moved it to the beach because it was in my way of reconstruction. I have my apple trees and I wanted this to remind me of the Renaissance Fair when I go in the fall, like apples, you know, in New York, apple picking. And this is the stone bridge. This bridge was um, one that I put here after um, a while of playing because the original bridge was more inland and I wanted this to be a nice entrance to my renaissance fair and these flags oh my god I had to trade someone I made her stuff and she got me these flags and I was like I need four and she just bought them for me that was great so yeah highly recommend trading so I have some clothing you know where you get your costumes and a little eating area over here and then I have some magic stuff of course, and some trinkets, you know, you go shopping at the Renaissance Fair. And I can't believe my voice is going out because this is my second time filming this. I'm sorry if my voice sounds funny. Over here is my campsite. It looks like a stage and it goes with the colors, so I thought it fit. And I just keep my pansies over here because I don't really like the pansies that much, honestly. I used to have mad flowers here and I finally moved them so I would stop going over here for flowers because it was just honestly in the way. I hardly go back to my run fair, but I still love it. So over here is more residential and this is a little bridge that I just made because I'm too lazy to put a bridge. I don't know if I want a bridge so close to the other bridge that's over here, you know? Like, would it be weird? And I don't like hopping steps if I'm going up here a lot. So here's Lyman's house, nice log cabin. This is Zell's house, nice clay looking one. Um, this is all just random stuff and nice waterfall. I've redone this river so many times, guys. Oh my goodness, I was so sick of it. If our other house used to be an orchard and I decided, you know what, I don't want an orchard. So I have just, you know, things all around, different um, fruit trees all around. This is Candy's house, nice little, you know, backyard area, it looks, very cozy and country-like. It's a random bench. It doesn't belong here. And this used to be my original Renaissance Fair area. So I made a little pond and flowers to make it look more natural. And there's the top of the waterfall. I have to put stuff up there still. Up here is, um, this actually used to be where Marina's house was until I made that pond. And all these flowers were from my graveyard that I had to take apart. And over here, is where Mallory used to live. Mallory was with me for a long time. She's a little purple duck and she decided to move out and I got, I think his name's Bob. Oh my goodness, he's a black bunny. He's a lazy villager and his house looks pretty good. So it'll fit with this color palette until I decide to maybe change this area. I'm not really sure what I wanna do. And I like that all of my villagers are kind of in a circle. So when I want to look for stuff, they're still spread apart, but they're all in a circle around the island. And then over here is my mystical fairy area. I want this to be like the magical fairy forest, which is why all the colors are like purple, pink, blue. I love the purple tulips, guys. It takes so long to get them. And this is the Alexandra Birdwing, I think model. Oh my gosh, there's Candy. What are you doing? Naruto running? <laughs> um, here I have some azalea bushes I just planted and this goes down to my secret beach. My secret beach is like very off to the side. It's not like in the middle as you can see. It's very off to the side up there on the top right corner. Um, 
So yeah, I used to have it decorated. I used to have all different types of inclines, but I decided to make it this way. And this incline goes up to a random plot. My house used to be here, and now nothing's up here. I might move someone's house here, I'm not really sure. Moving right along down these white plank incline is the little shopping area. So this is nooks, nice and pretty. The colors are all cohesive. And over here is the Able Sisters with a nice little rose garden. Over here is Alice's house. This is the second kind of house like this because June has the same one. Rocket used to live here and it was pink and it was horrible and I could not wait for her to leave. I had the time travel for her to get leave, so I'm really happy that she's gone. <laughs> um, this is right hand side, where I have my dock over here with a cooler and some fish bait. I'm praying my battery doesn't die because it's flashing. This is Marina's house. This is where I make my purple flowers. Nice little tropical area because June has a hibiscus like beachy theme. Um, yeah, I love this diamond shape that I made. Nice little hammock. Oh, there's June. She's so cute. I'm obsessed with her. So yeah, diamond little pathway and this is the entrance to Ken's house. He is my chicken. He is like a, he's a normal villager, but he's all Asian themed. So this is my Zen area inspired by his house. I don't know if I can ever let him leave because I like this a lot. Um, so then this actually, if you go up here, it actually leads to nooks. So I like that it's uh, not all closed off. I love this bridge, this angle, like from the side. And then down here is nothing. And over here is my museum. I have to fix this because it's not symmetrical. This was in the top right corner, but the colors just did not go. I want it to be like Harry Potter-ish back there, but not with this upgraded museum. It's not gonna happen. And I'm trying to make like raised accents and stuff like that. So we're back here. There's Ken. And this is the cute little tiny library. I love it. And then this bridge, I was so excited. This is one of the first, well, this is the first diagonal and only diagonal bridge I have, but I love it. And I love this entrance to nooks, like the way it's slanted and the flowers on the other side, just all you know, in a nice pattern. And then, oh, let's run a bit. This is my house. So my house is very fairy themed. I have the same color palette um, as the fairy forest, but I want it to be close to everything. I hated being so far away from everything, so that's why I moved my house here. And it actually was kind of here, more like over by where Nooks was, and then I changed it. So this is my first room. This is my living room. It looks very normal, like a regular house that you'd see in the real world, and I wanted to keep it that way. This is my bathroom, and again, it looks kind of normal. Ooh, the sun is like coming in. And yeah, this wall, I always change the wallpaper. Um, I wanted it to be kind of bohemian. I just got this washer from Balloon like earlier today. It's so cute. I'm back. I had to change my battery pack. So this is my kitchen and I got so lucky with all the ironwood. I like had it all handed to me. I didn't have to trade anyone for it. Um, yeah, I, this is what I traded the flags for because someone wanted the ironwood stuff. So I got this gas range. That was the last thing I got from a balloon. Like the second day after I finished my kitchen, all it was missing was a gas range. So I love how cozy and homey it looks. I don't like my uh, yellow espresso maker, but uh, maybe one day I'll get a silver one. I have the silver and yellow KitchenAid. I don't have an actual KitchenAid, but one day I will have one, guys. Let's go to the last room on the right. This is my dark, like, antique room. I really like dark and witchy things, so I wanted to have a room like this. This was my bedroom but I moved that and put all of my dark furniture that I decided to collect. I love this wallpaper, like the flower. And I was so excited when I got that flower swag. It is so, so cute. 
the hanging flowers on the wall. I love it. And also the ship in a bottle. Love that. So this is my DIY dump station because I have so many. My cousin did get some um, and I had more things making it look like a real basement but I want to maybe get to five stars to see if I can get the lily of the valley. Not even for the rating, I just want the flower. <laughs> so yeah, I have two of my train sets over here. They're super cute. And I cannot wait to get them all. This is my bedroom upstairs. This wallpaper should not be like this. I was just trying stuff out and I forgot it was like this. But yeah, I love this kimono stand. It took me a while to get it. Like I saw it when I was broke. And then I saw it again when I had mad money and I bought it. And I have a lot of money now because I did turnip exchanges on people's islands. So I would go to people's islands when they had Sally May? I forget her name. Buy the turnips and then go to someone else's island that had a expensive selling price and sell them there and I would make millions. So yeah, I'm not broke anymore, which is nice. So I can customize things and um, like just buy things to catalog in case I ever need it. And I just buy all the rugs that I can whenever I see Sahara. So this is a rug that I got from her. And of course I have my witchy stuff, you know, over here. Reminds me of Harry Potter. I'm not too into the tarot. Don't really care about that. Um, I don't really believe in that. But I just like the candles and the little ball. Um, yeah, so super cute. Ooh, the sun's coming in. So yeah, that is my island. I have so much fun, like, designing this game. And I would definitely get down about seeing people's islands that were all like beautiful and perfect. And I do have an Instagram that I haven't been posting on as much because I haven't been taking pictures. I've just been trying to redesign things and move things. Like, oh my goodness, this is just a mess to me, but it's okay. Ooh, is someone relaxing down there? No, it's a pot. I also don't understand why the sandcastle isn't the same color as the sand. It's very weird. <laughs> but anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little island tour. Um, I really, really wish like I could have a gaming channel and like consistently like make videos like people. I just feel like that's not me and I wouldn't be very good at it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little island tour. Oh, there's June. I love her. She's so cute. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've been up to, my little projects, and thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!